Jeremy here, and George and I are back at it again after a couple days off. Now, come hails or high water, we're going to get that $225 unit sorted through today and show you some more treasures. But before we do, I'm actually on storagetreasures.com right now looking at a unit that I want to buy up near Cleveland. If you know all about storageunittreasures.com, you can move ahead in the video to this spot right here. But for the rest of you, stick around. I'm going to share some tips and tricks for you. And if you find this video helpful, entertaining, you just like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it on your Facebook or your Instagram or your Twitter feeds. And if you don't like it, you hate it, hit that thumbs down. Two times if you don't mind. Like most websites, storagetreasures.com is easy to navigate as long as you read and follow the rules. The important things that we want to know is you must create a profile to bid on an auction. And to actually bid a successful bid on an auction, you have to have a credit card on file. So we can see right here, this current bid price is $60. We also can see that it ends in 10 minutes and 17 seconds. If I don't have a credit card on file, I cannot bid and therefore I will not win. So that's extremely important to make sure that we have that on file as we are looking to purchase. Some other things that I think are important in regards to storagetreasures.com is you have to adhere to their guidelines. Remember, they're a third party. They're taking the business and you, the buyer, and just creating a platform for you two to connect, okay? And so they're gonna take a percentage, 10% if you actually subscribe to their premium services, or 15% if you're just gonna buy one or two here and there. You'll have to decide what you actually want to actually do, but the rest of the money, your purchase price, any sales tax, things along those lines are gonna to go to the business and your clean out fee. So you'll have so much time to go clean that out and take care of that unit but you have to figure out how much time based on the terms in the auction. Terms are always gonna be listed down below. You want to see what those are. Some units may give you 24 hours, some may give you 72, some clean out fees may be 50, some may be 100, it all depends. Storagetreasures.com is gonna bill your credit card, whereas you're gonna pay cash for the unit and the clean out fee when you go and pick it up. We're getting down to five minutes. And when you place a bid within the last three minutes of an auction, it actually adds three more minutes to the auction. So it would be smart of us as bidders to not up the bid price during the rest of the week, when if it's on there for two weeks or what have you, but to put our bid in within the last three minutes. Because today is Wednesday, and it happens to be 10.08 a.m., and where's everybody on Wednesday at 10.08 a.m.? They're at work and probably not allowed on their computer. So in the last three minutes is when I'm going to put my bid in. But remember, people can put a max bid in as well. Somebody could have put $3,000 in here. And so I can keep going up in $10 increments until I hit their max bid. When bidding, it's important to refresh often so we can see what's actually happening with the bid price, which we're still at 60, and the time. Remember, we're gonna put a bid in within three minutes and see what happens. Now, if you do not follow all of storagetreasures.com's policies, for example, if you don't clean out the entire facility, see all this stuff here, couch and tables and things that you may wanna leave behind, mattresses and things like that, they are going to ban you from the site. And uh, that's not really an issue because you easily can just create another email with Gmail, Yahoo, whatever. I'm sure you know how to do that. And then create another profile with the exact same credit card. So not a problem if you go, man, there's a lot of garbage and I want to actually forfeit my security deposit. Leave it behind. Just create another profile and you'll be ready to bid on another unit. Now that we're under three minutes, still $60, we're going to go ahead and put in the minimum bid, which is going to be $70. So we're going to type it in, and then we're going to confirm the bid over here, and it's going to add three more minutes to the auction. Yes, we want to bid the 70 Now, we're going to have to refresh. You see what just happened? All right, I'm currently the high bidder. We just added three minutes. Now, hopefully, any other bidder is at work and can't bid against us. This does have a storage unit clean out fee, and this does 
have a sales tax we can see right here and I do have 72 hours to clean it out so the goal is to actually bid on it today then go to the warehouse finish sorting the $225 unit and then tomorrow go and pick this one up with cash now we're gonna have to keep refreshing to make sure we didn't get outbid because any other bidders just got an email saying they were outbid as we're waiting to find out if we actually win this unit all the additional rules and terms can be scrolled down below, okay? Bids are in $10 increments. Bids placed within the last three minutes will extend three minutes. If you have a basic plan, your buyer's premium is 15%. In other words, they're going to charge you 15% of your bid price to your credit card. If you're a pro member, in other words, do you pay for it? They're going to charge us 10%. It all depends on how much you use the system. And if you violate any terms it may prevent you from using the storage treasure service in the future which there are other services like this locker fox storage auctions.com and there's few here and there but this is the biggest one so this is the one that you're going to get the most units on right now as far as online bidding because everything is headed this direction in our culture so we are still high bidder three minutes six seconds with 1 minute 11 seconds to go, it says current high bid $80, bid again, you are not the high bidder. So someone came in and bid against us, that's going to add more time, and so we're going to have to refresh. And so what we'll see now is 3 minutes, 55, 54, 53 seconds. We're going to put in another bid and see if we can get this one. I've shared this in another video that what I don't like about storagetreasures.com is it opens up the platform to everyone, everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. And so the skill doesn't uh, come into play when actually profiling units, buying units, things along those lines. So anybody at home or anybody at a computer can bid on anything at any time. That can drive prices up, which I'm not too thrilled about because that drives profit down. But what I do like about it is I'm not standing outside in the freezing cold right now, but I'm bidding against somebody who's adding three minutes onto the actual auction. We're just going to have to cross our fingers and see if we can win this one if it doesn't go too high. What our goal is now is to put a $90 bid within the last 10 seconds, okay? And so what that's going to do is that's going to give us three more minutes to the auction, and we're going to go even with the 15 seconds, and we're going to hope that that pushes them off. We are the high bidder. Okay, we still have it. Okay, current high bidder. Now, we've got three more minutes to figure out if we get this or not. $100 is usually a threshold in people's minds that they won't cross. So they'll spend $99, but $100, which would be the next bid, they go, oh, no, I can't go $100, but they would spend $99 without an issue. It just happens to be a threshold in people's minds that they won't cross. So we might have them on this bid because they won't hit 100 or more. We'll have to see. 20 seconds to go. We're still the high bidder. We're going to hit refresh. 16, 15. We're still the high bidder. We're going to hit refresh again. We're down to 12, 10. All right, we might get this. I think we got them on the threshold of 100 bucks. 7, 6. I think we got them. I think we got them. I think we did. 3, 2. Here we go. Current high bid. Woo! All right, we got it. Yeah. So we got another one to pick up tomorrow, which is going to be fun with the unboxing. And we'll have to see what we got. But until then, let's swing over to the warehouse and finish up the unboxing on the $225 unit and see what other treasures we have in store. And here's the number one reason why I do not like online auctions versus live auctions. The right of redemption applies differently. So I won the storage unit auction, and then a minute afterwards, I receive an email that says that they canceled the auction because the previous owner came in and paid their back bill. If I would have gotten there 30 seconds before they came in, I would have owned the actual unit. But because they got there before I did, they own the unit. And then storagetreasures.com calls me and says, hey, we wanted to let you know. We just went ahead and canceled it. We're not charging your credit card bill and all da 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 Every single one that I've bid on this past couple months on storagetreasures.com been the same thing. It gets canceled. It's so frustrating when you're trying to run a business and you're wasting hours upon time that you don't have to waste.
As we get ready to get started, a huge shout out to Mick G and also Rachel Karen, K-E-R-E-N. Thanks so much for your subscriptions and all your love and all your support. Let's see what we got in here today. Let's swing around to the other side and start digging in more Tinkerbell. Look at that. We got some more brand new Tinkerbell. Obviously, this family was for sure Tinkerbell collectors. What do we have here? Signed autograph, Paul Warfield, number 42. I don't know what the date is. Can you guys see what the date is there? 1977, I think. That's the year I was born. We've got a giant bobby pin. Never seen one of these before. Uh, we've got the Bible. The KJV version, seen a bunch of these before. And we got even the magnifying glass. Looks like it's brand new. Cool. I'm sure there'll be something interesting right next to that Bible. Oh, of course there is. It's Tupac right next to the Bible. So we know already we've seen a lot of items. Wait, hold a second. Exploding the marijuana myths. Uh, medical marijuana just opened up today in the state of Ohio. So... Yeah, apparently they were all about their marijuana and their Tupac. What do we have here? We've got, we got Keep Busted, America's Top Crime Paper. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so this paper obviously tells you who got busted that week in your area. There's the mug shots. Remember, when you get arrested, you can get arrested for anything. They can arrest you for anything. It doesn't mean you're guilty. Which hot girl done what? Okay, charges. Let's take a quiz. Charges. A, probation. B, possible meth. C, retail fraud. Third degree. D, patrol, parole violation. E, uh, pos, sejal. One, two, three, four, five. Driving under suspicion is F. G, retail fraud. Or H, neglected child. So which one of the hotties did what? You tell me in the comments. So number one, two, three, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like they're listed. And then you tell me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H, which hottie did what. Odd things people save. Okay, we've got some Gromies. This is a birthday cake. Looks like something you probably get wet. And then it gets bigger. Princess, that's what she said. Uh, cat Gromy as well. Looks like we've got an Xbox controller. We've got another beautiful doily. Look at this. I wonder if this is pewter. We got a castle with the flag up top. We got the knight in shining armor. I think all we're missing is Rapunzel and the dragon. Let's see what we have on the bottom. We got some identification. We just, oh, there we go, F4067, if I flip that around for you guys. But we don't know who made it. Cool piece, though. So they obviously collected dragons as well. Here we got, we got an elephant. Oh, here we go. We got, oh, is that what I think it is? Look inside. You guys see that more? teeth i can't believe this somebody left us a message and said that teeth actually sell on ebay so george and i were curious and we actually looked it up and teeth used human teeth sell on ebay what in the world would somebody be buying used human teeth for on ebay well there we go we got a bunch more i'm not sure why they would be selling them on ebay or buying them there's another it's another old pin. Bo would that be a bobby pin? Would they call that a bobby pin? It's a cool pin. We got some costume jewelry. I wonder if she made that out of the stones. Lighters. Definitely loved lighters. Eagles. We've seen all that as well. There's another Grow Me Princess. Get it wet. It grows. Oh, oh look what we have here. Look what we got. You see that? That's coin. If I could just, if I could get inside. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we have. 
Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the glove off. See what we have. See if we have anything in here. S significance. Not seeing anything currently. There's the oldest thing so far, 1962 Smash Penny. Here we go. Here we go. There's a wheat head. Let's see what the year is. It needs a little bit cleaned up. 19. If I could, if I could only see 1957. 1957. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll set this money aside. We'll keep sorting through here. What do we got here? We've got... It looks like we got another lighter with a laser. We got a laser and a lighter combo. They're definitely lighter, uh, lighter collectors too. Let's see if the lighter works. Oh, we had it. We still got some butane in there. Be nice because it's freezing in here right now. Uh, here is a stay at home. What is this? This is one of those stone gardens, the Asian stone gardens. All right now you're thinking, George will tell you what to do with that for the last time. She's not Asian. 100% Egyptian, that sweet little George. Okay, we've got some more jewelry. We'll have to check later, see if it's silver or not. Some other random things. What is this? Absenti? Anybody know what absenti means? Absenti. Let us know in the comments. We're not going to have time to figure it out. Here's another laser pointer. Oh, it works. Got you in the eye. And then we got some tattoos, and looks like we got a salt or pepper shaker. I don't remember which one three holes is salt or pepper. We should be able to get done with this full unboxing and then move on to the next storage unit. We just got to find one. So storagetreasures.com, obviously not helping me at all. Uh, we got a brand new hard hat helmet. That looks great. I'm sure somebody could use that in this area. Look at this, brand new Batman, brand new KB Ethos, Athos, Uthos, I don't even know what that is, Ethos, it's got the tag on it, brand new Cleveland Indians, there you go, man, there's a lot of new hats in here, and it was covering up, hmm, beautiful picture, oh, look at that, right there, can you see it, pure aluminum, made in the usa so this picture right here 100 percent aluminum we've got it looks like it is what it is it's a hub assembly a brand new hub assembly let's take a peek at it see if it's used or new it is it's new it's brand spanking new still sealed up now you go, Jeremy, what would you do with something like that? This would go on eBay and would sell in a heartbeat. So we've got all the part number. We know all the information. And this could ship easily in a flat rate box with the U.S. Postal Service. So this is an easy sale. Easy money right away to get your money back from a unit. What else do we have? We've got Mystical Creations, a dark fairy LED water fountain. I'm not too much into the dark fairy thing. Let's see if it's even in there. Let's see if we're in. Yep, definitely in there. Got the crystal ball and everything in there. So apparently that's a fountain. Doesn't look like it was ever out of there. We got a nice tote here. Let's bring it on up. Okay, first thing we have. Looks like a little fishing box. Here we go. Nope, not a fishing box. This is this is like an X-Acto razor. See all the razor blades right there on the magnet? And there's your handle. So what they would be doing with that, your guess is as good as mine. What do you think? Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the Storybook Sweetheart California Costume. 
of an idea for that. Just gonna tuck that away to the side to go home with me. All right, we've got we've got some Texas Instrument calculators. You may or may not know this, but this kind of thing sells really well. People love this kind of thing. Texas Instrument calculators. Again, eBay would be the place to do that kind of thing. Weird but true. Number six, three hundred outrageous facts. Let's find one. All right, Donald Duck's middle name is. Fall, Faultler Leroy, Fault Leroy. I, I didn't know that. If I, I don't even know how to spell it. Uh, let's see. There's a machine that turns sweat into drinking water. I am glad I know that now. Never wanted to know that. Um, let's see this. There are about 300 dimples on a golf ball. Huh. So now you know. Weird but true facts. We've got a frog in here. We've got a button on the bottom. Look at that, lights up. So our frog lights up, does all kind of LED tricks there. All of you frog collectors, you know what F-R-O-G stands for. If you know what F-R-O-G stands for, let me know. Right down there in the comments. SpongeBob right there, Krabby Patties. I have the first 100 episodes on DVD for the kids. Oh, nice. Look at that. Those look brand new. I should try those. Let's see. I mean, they're not going to be as warm as these ones, but I might be able to grip a little bit better. That might be, that might come all right. Wow. You can actually see my hand. This is like going from a 3X to an extra large shirt. I just, I don't, I, you know, I don't wear tight clothes because I don't want to make the women stumble. So... All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Nice and blue. Made in Belgium. It's got a bunch of tacks. Some other odd things in there. We'll set that aside. Uh, we got a DC hat. Another hat. Never have enough of those, apparently. We got a belt. Let's see what the buckle is. Let's see if we can push it out. And we... Oh, it's Hello Kitty! It's Hello Kitty, looks brand new, 1999 plus tax. Hello Kitty belt. Huh. And look, here's another belt right over here. We've got a Domino's Pizza belt. How cool is that, especially if you own a Domino's Pizza? Never seen one of those before. The first time I got that in a unit. Wonder if they worked there, or something along those lines. Uh, here's a digital watch by VTech. And looks like it'll take pictures, USB, home screen. Not sure what it all will do. I'll have to look that up a little bit later. Let's see what this thing is. We've got a, okay, PGI. We've got that item number. Okay, it's in here, whatever it is. A meat market barbecue Branding iron. Oh, you know what this does? Look, 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 look. See all the letters? And it goes on here, and then you turn this into here, and you brand things. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? What the hails on my burger? Huh? Or the steak? We should try something. All right, we'll set that aside. We'll see if I can get Talk George into something tonight with that okay what's this a container and oh now all the teeth make sense we've got dentures now it makes sense oh grody okay now all the teeth make sense somebody lost all their teeth and now we found the dentures Okay, Jack Daniels, number seven, couple alcohol glasses. Oh, you know what this is? Hoppies, number nine. This is a gun cleaning, gun cleaning kit. I get these in almost every single unit, it seems like. So, we the gun cleaning kit is great. I got a ton of them. I want the guns. 
Okay, let's see what we have here. I think we saw one of these before already. It was markers. Yep, more artistic markers. Yep, so maybe the X-Acto knife, the markers, maybe they were really into their crafts. Something along those lines. Let's see what we have here. Uh, we got a Sylvester keychain. Let's see if we can see a date. I don't see one. The camera's kind of high there where I can't see right now. Oh, there's something in there. Remember, people will hide anything everywhere. <gasps> there we go, there we go, there we go. There's more stuff in there. Okay. My guess, probably because of everything we've already found, I'm guessing, well, that's pretty corroded to be silver. I'm going to have to get that checked out. Let's see if we can get the rest of this stuff out. Oh, oh I just lost something. Here goes, here goes, found it, and can you see it? <laughs> it's, there we go. It's a shroom. It's a mushroom marble. I think they were into their marijuana, their mushrooms, and their silver. Okay, that's all that was in there. We'll set that aside. Here's another jar. And we got more rocks. We know they love their rocks. Oh, here we go. Remember Sunday night we told you guys. First time ever we found we found an urn. And so there you go. There's cremation right there. There's the tag. I don't know why it's not on the urn. But it looks like that's what goes with it. Odd. Very odd that it would be separated. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have a bag of pot. No, that's a hacky sack. A hacky sack probably with pot in it. <laughs> okay, let's set that. Oh, whoa, 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 look what we have here. It's about three o'clock and I am starving. We've got some gum, gum, and Reese Pieces. These look like the old carrots from Easter. Okay. All right, I got to get something in me because George hasn't fed me today. And that's okay. She doesn't need to either. But let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by his toe. If you howl, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. All right, Reese Pieces it is. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> I do love a good Reese Pieces. I'm just... I don't know. Do you guys think those are still good? Those look all right. You see the expiration date? Best Buy 1997. Well, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do to stay alive. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Mm, not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I've had worse. I've had worse. <laughs> oh, dropped one. <laughs> and we'll just we'll leave that gum for later. Okay. All right, let's see what else we have in here. <laughs> I might have to wash that down with something in a little bit. All right, we've got a Sarah Payton uh, Earth Tone Candle Set. Wow, that peanut butter is dry. Dry. Uh, we got a Jägermeister. Got another shot glass. What do we got here? Oh, here we got a wolf. Hungry like a wolf. There we go. I wonder if you put it this way or this way. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, we got a, look at that. We got a Coca-Cola glass wrapped in a plastic bag in a Tupperware. I wonder, no, nothing else is in there, but obviously they wanted to keep it safe. We'll set that aside. They took better care of that than anything else. There's nothing there. We've got nine inch bamboo chopsticks. Huh. So we got a bag of chopsticks. We'll set that aside. We've got something, a scarf wrapped around more Jack Daniels. They loved their alcohol, didn't they? Huh. Okay. We've got a mason jar with a star. 
We've got Walmart bag here. Something pokey. No, three something pokies. Uh, you know, you, these screw into the into the faucet. Are these those? Are these those? You fill up all the water balloons at the same time. Time on the end thing, because this doesn't look like you fill up a hundred water balloons at once. And how in the world do you even put them on the end? Or is this just kind of a spray? All right, I, I don't know. There's three of them. They obviously go on the end of a faucet, and then you do something. You'd spray or water balloons or something. Okay, let's keep going. Looks like we got, oh, we got two more things in here. Here's a, looks like a digital watch or something. And then we've got, uh, we got a bag filled with, filled with skulls. Better than teeth, I suppose. The artwork's starting to make a little bit more sense now. It looks like this is a keepsake tote that you can actually be creative with. So if you got an artist in the family, that'd be a really cool thing to get them. So let's dig in. Let's see what's going on in here. And, oh, who would have ever thought Tinkerbell? Okay, I don't, I don't hear anything. But at the same time, we never want to pass up paper money. So we're going to look. I let you look. I didn't look. Okay, I don't. I don't see anything in there. So we'll put that plug back in. We'll go over there. So sandwich bags. Wait, wait, wait. We got more than sandwich bags. We got a Walking Dead shot glass and a hot, hot, hot scratch and sniff. You smell it. Smell it. Yeah, scratch and sniff. Hot, hot, hot. So, Walking Dead shot glass and sandwich bags. Let's just check. Oh, we got something else. Ole. Here, here, I'll scratch it for you. All right, go ahead and sniff. Yeah. Ole, ole, ole. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. All right, we'll take those home. We've got a giant heart. Here, let me see if I can show you better. A giant heart. It looks like a pillow. Wait, there's a zipper here. So we got a pillow and we got a zipper. And... <laughs> nah! <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Somebody was hiding their whiskey. <sighs> let me see what else is in here. It feels like there's more in there. It's empty, but it feels like... It feels like something else was in there. Well, you know, um, I did have those Reese pieces, and I need something to wash it down with, so. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ain't gonna happen. I don't drink. So we'll just uh, throw this away. We'll put the cap back on. I'll either throw it away or I'll use it to clean something. Or kill something, one or the other. Uh, there is definitely something else in here. I can feel it. But it's underneath. You see there? I don't know what it is. And we're going to find out. If only I had... Oh, you know what? Ron sent us those knives and I left it at home. Ron, I apologize. You sent us knives and I actually left my knife at home. It's still over where we do the live stream. All right. We'll just, we'll figure out what we can get there. We got a Steelers bear, or at least it's got a Steelers slap bracelet around it. Brand new. Gifts a smile with a star. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got the Marksman. Repeater. Let's see. Yep, I got a couple of these at home already. I find these a lot in the storage units too. We got a Steelers hat. Go figure, huh? We got a Batman. Got a Batman baby hat. 
like we got some dial soap. That's my kind of soap right there. I'm allergic to anything except for that that straight dial soap. So even this is sea berries, I can't use it, but maybe George can. Whatever we can take home and use, we will. That looks like, is that a hair thing? Do you put that in your hair? Or a ponytail, ponytail clip? Whatever it is, is going in the garbage. All right, we'll get some more garbage. This just looks like, this looks like a kid was hiding everything. Oh, there's Suicide Squad mug. Yo-yo. Oh, nah, that's a shame. Again, you find it in every single unit, guys. And so there you have it. So there's your pipe. So we were hiding the whiskey and we were hiding the pipe. And they bought this, whatever it is, for $12.95. Okay, everything's being hidden in this thing. I'm just curious. Oh, all right. It's another pipe. It's just another pipe. It's a shame. All right. We got some shells. We got some other random things. Some lighters for the pipe. I must ask you a question. All right. We got, uh, we got a frog. We've got... Okay. Let's see. Oh, don't tell me this is another urn. No, this can't be another urn. That other urn was sealed. This one, this can't be an urn. This would have some kind of marking as an urn, but look. See all that there? And then... Okay, here's my guess. We're going to have to look. Alright, I don't want to inhale any of this. What does that look like to you guys? What do you think? Um, okay, I think my guess is off. I think this might be an urn. Another one. And if it is... I'm pretty sure that might be another urn. Although, that's not typically how they're stored. Okay, let's just keep on going. Oh, here we go. Now we got a knife. Okay, where were we with this? Always remember, cut away. Don't ever want to do hurt or damage to yourself. Let's find out what was inside here. Okay, we're in there now. And something was being hidden in here. I felt it. Look, there it is again. And it looks like, okay, it must have just been some electronics. All right, nothing good there. We got a few more things here. Skip bow. We've got Uno. We've got, look at that. We got some chocolate scratch and sniff. Can never go wrong with chocolate. We've got some root beer scratch and sniff. And we got some cherry scratch and sniff. And we've got gain. That's what I need. I need gain. Or I break out as well because of my allergies. Let's see. We've got, got pills. We'll throw that away. I don't know. Another chain. There's some BBs. I think this goes to these dragonfly lights. Yep. Now we got some dragonfly lights on and off. So just some random things here. This was bought for $2.99. Looks like a little girl's who wasn't so little anymore. Hiding stuff room. I'm not sure what everything this knife does, but looks like a novelty knife. Looks like it's supposed to do quite a bit. Set that aside. My fingers are too cold right now to even be messing around with that. And we've got some more shells. That's, this is what I was going to say, what I think was in that jar, is I think it's sand from the beach. So, I was hoping this was sand from the beach. And, although it's tough to tell, because that looked like a, a whole lot more chunks down in there. 
We got some dub. Uh, we got shell on a chain. We got some earrings. Something for a watch. We got some more money down here as well. So I'll clean that all up. This has been Jeremy. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you get your notifications. And remember, if you like the video, let us know. Give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit that dislike twice. And don't be afraid to share it all over your Facebook with your friends. As Georgia always says, adventure awaits. You got to go find it. Once we get home, all the change we found goes into a bucket to be cleaned at a later date. So maybe someday I'll actually get some time to hit all this up in the CLR. Just helps cleaning it up before I take it to the bank and turn it in so all of it goes through the machine. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm making a sandwich. All I've had to eat today was Reese Pieces. Can you make me a sandwich? Uh, what kind do you want? Surprise me. <laughs> okay. Bon appetit, George! Here you go, my love. <laughs> did you find a brander today? I did. I was busy. I found a brander. Are you going to let me brand your booty? Uh, 